Now, your first alert five weather. In the mountains today, big wind, big snow, and big problems. I-70 was a parking lot earlier this afternoon. CDOT has done the scraping and the de-icing, so traffic flowing smoothly right now. That's a live look just close to the Eisenhower Tunnel. Here across the lower elevations, really peaceful now that that wind has died off. We've got dry skies from Rangewood to Palmer Park all the way to the Valley High Golf Course. It's 33 on the thermometer with that very light breeze. It feels like 28 degrees. Pueblo, you're clear 28 on the thermometer. Breeze makes it feel like 23 degrees. That wind was out of control in some areas today. Cheyenne Mountain had a hurricane force gust at 77. Pueblo, it was a shingle shaker early this morning. Winds gusted to 61 miles per hour in the springs. Our top wind speed was 51 miles per hour. If you're headed skiing this weekend, the snow has really been piling up. You'll be in the steep and deep. Past couple of days, 12 to 14 inches from Steamboat Aspen all the way into Crested Butte. Right here tomorrow, we're going to start with sunshine. Temperatures at 8 a.m. into the low 20s, so dress warmly if you're going to be out early. I think we'll see a few high thin clouds push off the divide across the I-25 corridor during the afternoon hours tomorrow. So we'll call it a mix of clouds and sunshine as we work through the day. This is my big weather story tracking a cold front that moves in here on Sunday. The energy I think right now is just going to track too far north again to be a major precip maker here across southeastern Colorado, but it'll certainly be breezy on Sunday, cloudy, much cooler on Sunday, and some of us could see a little bit of snow. At this point, it looks like the prime target northern El Paso County back into Teller County, then northern central and San Juan Mountains get another healthy blast of snow. But by early morning, I think we'll see some snow move off the mountains, then by afternoon it'll cross the I-25 corridor. You can see modeling not real excited about bringing a whole lot of snow across the viewing area. That stuff will be gone by Sunday evening. Temperatures today, Pueblo, the high was 55 degrees in Colorado Springs, the official number 54, but that came just after midnight, so really not indicative of just how cold it was, especially with that wind blowing today. Overnight lows tonight, colder, especially in Colorado Springs. That's the coldest low of the week so far at 19. Pueblo close behind at 16, lows into the single digits across those high mountain valleys and around here tomorrow. A nice day, better than today because we won't have to deal with that strong gusty wind. Winds anywhere from five to maybe seven miles per hour at times tomorrow. So basically a calm day for a change. Let's run with that and enjoy it while we can. Super seven day forecast in Colorado Springs, eventually making it up to 46 during the early afternoon hours. We'll jump from the 40s to the 50s into the 60s on Saturday. Breezy and warm, it's a downslope Chinook on Saturday, making it the warmest day we will have for quite some time, uh, if you're making those weekend plans, Saturday definitely the warmest and brightest. And that's what Rob's family says about him, wow. warmest and brightest. Proud of that. Yes, Sunday, a couple of flurries possible late. And then there's that change. Big change is coming by Wednesday. A high only in the 30s. Haven't been there in a long time. And we could see some snow by late Tuesday into Wednesday. Pueblo, those are good looking temperatures for the middle of January. Downslope breezes Saturday put you up at 66 degrees. Weak cold front Sunday. And then that possible pattern change by the middle part of next week. Some of the models are bringing in a few rain and snow showers by Wednesday. Dry skies tomorrow from Canyon City, Penrose, Florence all the way back to the Royal Gorge Bridge. Mild weekend for this time of the year. And those are usually hard to come by during the month of January. Moisture possible by the middle part of next week. Woodland Park, your next cycle of unsettled weather rolls in on Sunday. Very fast moving Pacific energy moving across the area. Could see more snow by Tuesday into Wednesday. Stay tuned for updates. Diane.